Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to represent a numerical character with non-numeric characters. What that means is I can represent a number by a series of characters. So say, for example, I had a number three in a cell, then I could represent that number by using three characters, so three stars or three I's or three H's, for example. The benefit of this is that it allows me to see pictorially the difference between two numbers. So I'm going to show you how to do this in two different ways. The first way is by using the numerical values themselves. And in the second way, we're going to incorporate the, uh, the formula or function that we've used to do the count here for the uh, game preference analysis into the formula I'm going to show you. So we're going to use the formula REPT, which stands for repeat. So equals REPT. EPT. Sorry, T. Open a bracket. Okay, so the first thing it's asking, what text do I want to use to represent my number? So a text value is a string. So it's important that you incorporate that you uh, enclose it in speech marks. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use stars. So I'm going to use the star character, comma, and then it's asking me how many times do I want to repeat that star? Well, at the moment I'm going to be using these two values. So I'm going to use this value, sixty-four. Then I'm going to close the bracket and then I'm going to press enter. And you can see there that it's put 64 stars in my um, spreadsheet. So if we do the same thing here, equals R E P T, open a bracket. Again, the text I want to use is it's a star to keep it uh, standardized. And this time I'm going to use the 36 instead. So when I press enter, you can see there now that. Clearly, you can see that the maze game has more um, preference than the uh, RPG game. So that's a pretty straightforward formula or function. But what I'm going to do is to incorporate the function that we've used here. So remember that we've uh, we've used the uh, the named range of preference, and I'm using K4 because that is where my uh, the title for my maze game is. So let's try it this way then. So equals R E P T. Open a bracket. I'm going to use the same. Um, text and then this time after my comma I'm going to actually going to write my count if statement so I'm going to do count if open a bracket the range is preference preference comma and the criteria is my maze game and I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to close the second bracket there's two brackets open okay and then I'm going to press enter and you can see that that is now put the 64 in and then I'm going to just drag this formula down to do that one as well uh, just to show you that I can change the text representative I can change that to um, an I for example and then it will put 36 I's in there. I do the same thing with this one here. Put I in there. And you can see there that um, that has now worked. So I got 36 I's in the bottom, one for RPG, and 64 in for Maze Game. So that's how you use the repeat function, R E P T, to represent a numerical value with non numeric characters.